at least on this recording, I think Twitter uh, has had a new owner for roughly six months or so. Um, what's your assessment of how that is um, going? I mean, it's a little, it's, uh, look, obviously some things have gone horribly wrong, right? And I think that what's so interesting about Musk is that um, you know, Twitter, he's one of the, he's one of the greatest inventors and most important, you know, engineers and product managers of our lifetime, right? And I've talked to a lot of people who work closely with him and there's a sense that, you know, no one can look at a problem from first principles and figure out new solutions better than he can, right? And he has this capacity that he's shown in Tesla and he's shown in SpaceX. Those companies are unbelievable, right? And not only unbelievable companies, yep. but the value that they accrue. Joe Biden just said he wants half the cars in America to be new cars sold to be electric by 2030. Like that doesn't remotely happen without Elon and Elon going through, you know, the walking across the coals that he walked across for all those years with Tesla, where it looked like there wasn't any chance and all the decisions they had to make, make it right. The guy's phenomenal, right? Um, but then, you know, he takes, you know, fame has effects on people and Twitter has effects on people. And in some ways it seems like the personality who's come out tweeting is a much, is, is not the person who we saw running, you know, creating Tesla. And you, I talked about Twitter bringing out the worst of people. And it seems as though, there's been a lot of that happening at Twitter. On the other hand, reports that like Twitter is going to die and that, you know, Twitter is going to break and Twitter won't be working by Sunday morning were clearly grossly exaggerated, right? It looks like as of today's Wall Street Journal, maybe we have a new CEO, maybe we have some stability. Like Twitter will not be the cultural influence that it was two years ago, three years ago. I use Twitter much less. There are all kinds of things he did that have really weirded me out, right? I, certainly don't stand for a lot of the things he's tweeted, but also rigging the algorithm, make his tweets appear more. There's a lot of stuff that's been pretty gross. Um, on the other hand, I think Twitter is going to, you know, Twitter will still be an important social media entity for a long time to come. And and what do you think of the, the product itself? You're a student of kind of all these different yeah. products. Like, do you think the product no, is think getting the product better? I think getting worse. Um, I think that the, you know, the fundamental, the thing I've, I always wanted from Twitter was I wanted a platform where I would be able to connect with people, where I would be able to learn new things and where I'd be able to, you know, have conversations or see information that at the end of the day would make me smarter, right? Or would make me smarter might be the yep. wrong word, but would make my life richer, right? I would, I would have gone on and I would have, you know, talked to Oren about something and learned something. I would have, you know, seen some beautiful photograph and I would have gotten a link to a story I wouldn't have found otherwise, right? That's a beautiful day on Twitter. And I go on Twitter now and it's, you know, it's been TikTokified a little bit, right? You're just seeing like, you know, I don't know, yep. there's an elephant on a skateboard or whatever the hell you see, right? Um, and you see a lot more kind of viral crap. You see a more, I think you probably see, I don't know, probably see more kind of toxicity. Um it's, I think the product is worse and that's why I use it less. Um, and why is the product worse? Is it because my social network is fragmented and people have left and the people I was most excited about have left? Maybe. Is it because chasing whatever he's chasing, you know, Musk and his team have made it worse? Is it because the trusted safety team got fired and some more toxicity is going through? I'm not sure. But in general, as an experience for this user, the product is worse. What do you, what do you think? You, you think the product's better? I actually, better? I, 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 really? I think the product's better. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just like I, even the little features, just like, I appreciate the little features, just the fact that you can like, you know, italicize something. It's like, sounds silly, but just like some of these little things that they, I mean, there done, are like encrypted DMs, um, right? And I, I have found just uh, discovering things. Now I agree with you that some of the videos that you see are a little TikTok-y. And I don't want to, I don't, I'm not going to Twitter to see like dance videos and stuff. And I'm starting to get more of those in my feed. Um, and, uh, but, but in general, like, I, I think it's, it's like the experience has been like, you know, I, I've always been a Twitter fan, but I think the experience has been huh. better today. And I, I feel like they're, they're getting they're You could see how they're like, actually, it seems like every week they're, they're doing some, they're, they're, they're putting out a new feature. They're trying things out. Um, they're doing what a tech company is supposed to do, experimenting with different things. Um, and they do seem willing to change their mind. If they put something out, it's, it's not really working. They'll like, I was like, 
that, I'll, okay, we're not going to do that anymore. And, and, and it's tough when you do that in public. Um, like a lot of times when, when some of these sites do it, they do it like, uh, they do it in like Australia. That's what, that's what Facebook does. They like do everything in Australia first. So like nobody finds out about it. Um, it's like, you know, just the koala bears using it or something. And then they, you know, slowly roll it out to, to the rest of the world where TikTok, I mean, where Twitter just does it for everybody. Um, but I, I can mean, definitely actually, see your point look, as well. It is absolutely true that Twitter's product team was slow in the past and like, it, Musk is not, it's not slow, right? And new stuff does come out. So if yeah, the product is slow. like all the different yeah. tools and the ability to tweet longer and all that, like, you know, the, today, right? The encrypted DMs, like I think encrypted DMs are, yep. they're, they're not fully encrypted, right? It's only for Twitter blue, but like the features, you know, there are features yeah. shipping. Yeah, it's cool. But it's like, it's a cool new Twitter thing. It's not you know? like the amalgamation of all these tiny little things. It's like the core newsfeed experience yeah. and the percentage of tweets that I see that are actually not tweets that like fire, like, give me like, give me a sugar rush, but tweets that I actually, if I look back at the day and say, okay, I spent 12 minutes on Twitter, those were a good 12 minutes. Like what are the odds of that? Probably less than two years ago.